if I end up dead, I'm haunting people. You know, you can stop the madness, but uh, people don't want to stop it. So it's kind of like the madness is going to keep going, keep going, keep going. And then eventually it's like, oh, we can't do anything for you because you're already dead. You know, people who create the sound of madness is only looking for trouble. And there is an issue at that too that there's money involved at that too. Yep, they're being a fool thinking they can just hand off money, do whatever they want, being a fool without a care, pretty much. And uh, getting a hold of people, which that's a foolish move. At that too, I've talked about this. I've talked about maybe one, two. Now this is a third time I have spoken about people talking about wanting to get me jumped. This is three times. I don't think it's very smart. And the reasons why they're being foolish is because they're paying people off. And half of them are locked up. Who was gonna do it? Mention that too. I don't give a fuck right now. Half the people that are locked up were going to jump. And possibly is gonna try to attempt murder again. But I forgot. I don't bitch enough to the law for them to help me. And I know they're not gonna help me. Because I know they're not. So... Let me see. Yeah, then you also got the four of pinnacles. Yep, you got about the four foolishness. Foolish people trying to act up at that too. Like I said. Yep, you got the... All it is is money. It's what it is. This has to do with people... And who they're contacting. They're contacting up to five, six, seven, eight fools. And the Ace of Pentacles means they think they're going to get it successfully done. I don't know. I just, you know. You know, people who likes to make noise, do they not understand that other people can make noise too? And then they wonder why people get into a mode that they do? It's because they understand what a person is doing. Yeah, it's actually going to cause, it's going to cause a heartbreak because of this situation the madness is not going to stop and this is going to cause somebody a very bad heartache, a heartbreak. Because this is still going on. But it's being paid, so that's pretty much like a hitman. Pretty much. It's a hitman. Then you got the hierophant that knows everything. Wrote down everything. It's written down. That this is going to cause a heartbreak to someone because they wanted to be the fool. You know what I mean? The reasons why only people want to jump you is because they want to get revenge. Well, before, before somebody takes action upon you, you're going to be hearing others saying, Well, you need to tread lightly. Or you need to watch your P's and Q's. That's a tentacle thread itself, which I don't appreciate at that too. And if people does know about what Hillary Simmons is talking about, they need to speak up to me. If they don't, it's going to lead to heartbreak. Pretty much this is gambling. And if I end up dead... And it's not stopped. 
This is going to break a lot of people's hearts. Because of these actions. Yeah, some, somebody's just foolish. Pretty much hiring hitmans, pretty much. Actually having people to do it. They hired people. They are talking. They're getting a hold of others at that, too. They're getting a hold of others because I confronted about something. And now my name's getting mentioned. And it ain't going to fly with me. So, yeah, journey. They want to try to stop somebody's journey is by ending a life, pretty much. Yeah, they're foolish for disrespecting my body, soul, and mind. They are disrespecting my boundaries. They are disrespecting my temple at that, too. And uh, the Four of Pentacles is that it's going to bring hostility to the table. It's going to bring hostilities. It's going to bring trouble, fights, arguments. And um, there's going to have to be a balance brought back. It's going to be balanced out. And um, there will be appreciation somewhere. So pretty much somebody is actually feeling appreciation to where they can get me killed. And then there's appreciation to where they will stop this bullshit. But I feel like there's somebody tampering with stuff. Alright. But yeah, to the ace. Yeah, to the ace of pentacles, there's going to be a victory. So there's going to be a heartbreak. Because there's caring connections. So, I'm taking it as the heartbreak could be that you got to be careful what you do to others. Because uh, they possibly know that's what's going to be the heartbreak is the different connections. There's going to bring hostility to the table. It's going to bring heartbreak to a situation because they know... That you're getting victory. Because they won't stop talking about bringing hostilities. Talking about... There's three different times people have talked about trying to get me jumped. First time, I was almost attempted murdered, for one. And then uh, the second one tried to act up on me. It got out and about. And uh, now a third... Has to do with Hillary and A.J. Cook. And their connections. Of bringing hostilities. Because I confronted something. Because they're heartbroken. That their actions. It's just some. I don't know. They're foolish for thinking they're going to get a victory and appreciation. Of trying to bring people a heartache. I promise you that's not how it's going to work. They're foolish for thinking that. There's all different types of why people want to jump you. Why people want to hurt you. It's because you're catching on. You've called them out. You've catched on to their clicks. You have pretty much been on the money of what's been going on. And that's probably why they want to jump. They want to take stuff out on you. They want revenge. They're just trying to do everything and anything that they can. Yep. And they actually think that they're dominant. So they think by jumping an individual that they think, okay, like Hillary Simmons and AJ Cook thinks uh, they're going to dominate me. I don't think so. That's not how it rolls. You are not going to think you have dominance just because you want to jump me. And I know AJ Cook is a little bit terrified of me. And I know Hillary's scared of me because I confronted her about something. And that's why she called AJ Cook. Yep. And then the temple. You got guidance. You got people talking amongst each other about this situation. You got people talking. 
their friend groups. You got everybody talking now. Yeah, the hostility, the leaders, is probably Hillary Simmons, A.J. Cook, and possibly Bobby Tagarello. Don't even realize it. So, disrespecting your body, soul, and mind. Yeah. So, there's leadership here. So, somebody's taking leadership and doing the jump and paying people off to do it. Well, some of them are locked up who's been wanting to do this. And then, uh, there will be balance in the near future and uh, potential. There will be somewhat of balance What's appreciation? Yeah, appreciation that they can mess with your emotions, screw with your emotions. That's pretty much what they're foolish about. They literally like messing with your emotions. And uh, they see... You see a vision that... They see a vision... Something about passion, about lust... So somebody thinks that they're going to get a victory for being in lustful energy. It's going to lead to heartbreak. Because somebody is doing this out of greedy reasons. Like literally. Like angry. Now when it comes to passion, this is like lust. So somebody's going to do something and you can see this vision. Of that they're just doing this because out of love. They're trying They're trying to dominate. They're trying to get a leadership, meaning the ringleader. They're trying to have different connections on how to dominate you. How to control your destiny, your journey. But they don't understand appreciation of messing with your emotions. But uh, the vision... Is that they know you got a victory because they got the three of swords. They're going to be heartbroken. Because they let their connections, their hostility, and their passion, and their lust. Yeah. The victory is that third eye, clairvoyant. I'm seeing it. That their hostilities, their passion is going to bring them heartbreak. By trying to mess with emotions. That's why they're foolish. And they're ringleader. And there's guidance saying that there's others who knows about these foolishness behaviors. They already know who is trying to dominate. They're trying to do power and control. Meaning dominant. Meaning that they are controlling. For like, okay, let's say that Hillary cried and bitched AJ Cook, right? That's what I, that's what's pretty much getting at. Dominance is saying that you can control someone. And it just pisses these people off that they cannot control me. I will speak up if necessary. This has already been talked about and I don't appreciate it. My name being brought up again. I don't appreciate it. Yeah, you got seduction. Under journey and dominance. So, I don't like that. That means they could be planning to do something really bad here. Uh, secrecy. I don't like that. I don't like those combined. But, uh, there are people in guidance talking about this. That there are people wanting to disrespect your body, soul, and mind. And it's not in a very good way. Is all I'm going to say. And it's going to bring danger. And guidance is being talked about for whoever's trying to be foolish. For whoever's trying to bring violence to the table. They are trying to seduction the fact that they think they can dominate you. And uh, you got potential. So you got people in the near future that's going to try to travel. But it's gonna there's going to be a balance. People are going to be traveling. What's emotions about? Settlements. This is about a settlement. About messing with somebody's emotions here. I don't like that. Settlement can mean they bribed. Trying to do something that's not very good. 
And then we got Vision, Hostile, Victory, and Upheaval. Then we got Change and Development. Yep. There's going to there's going to be an upheaval coming in the near future that these people are going to have heartbreak. They're the ones who's going to have danger. They're going to have upheaval and uh, they're going to realize people are going to see this with their third eye of what they are doing. They are bringing nothing but heartache to themselves of what they are trying to do. So when they jump an individual, this is not just punching people. This is more like seduction. I mean like somebody's going to try to hurt somebody, sexually assault somebody with hostility. And that's going to bring an upheaval. And people will be able to see this. And there's people who are not who are not going to stop this madness in time because they let these people do what they do, and then that's going to lead the people to where they want to get violent. And uh, you can't you can't really blame an individual for getting hostile. If it comes to something of sexual assault. This is not just beating up someone. This is sexual hostility. This is people who bribed on somebody's life. Which is going to bring danger to an individual. It's going to break somebody's heart really bad. If it does not get put to a stop. Heal. There's going to need to be healing. There's going to need healing after the situation is after and done. There's going to need healing to a hurt. One more. Yeah. Peace. And life purpose. That you were meant to have peace in your life and you're meant to be having a life purpose. There's a life purpose here to people talking. And it could be maybe people are talking is that when somebody has peace in their heart or peace of mind... That they understand what is going on. But what I'm getting is that the people who is trying to bring the hostility. Who is trying to bring this out of madness. Does not have a peace of mind. And is not healing. And does not have a life purpose. They're just doing it just for because they, they think they can. This is not very smart. What is travel about? Blessings. So there's something about balance, potential future, travel blessings. So there's blessings traveling in the near future. What a settlement. I still don't like that. There is going to be clarity. There's going to be clarity on this situation it's going to bring clarity to why people are acting like this because they are foolish. These people just are the fool. They are morons, pretty much. That's just plain simple. They are the fool. In appreciation, you're going to get clarity out of this. Let me see. What is the upheaval about? You see. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. Financial health. Inspiration. That's going to bring an upheaval. 
why this is going to bring somebody heartbreak. Because there's people thinking it's going to be victorious that they can come in. Because you've already seen it. There's people going to be heartbroken. Because they're going to try to ask you for forgiveness. Because they know that they try to bring you health problems. They try to bring you health financial problems. And they were having an inspiration. Because they got found out. Or it's being found or finding. Alright. It's being founded out. Alright. And also, I think I think the reason why this is also being finding too is because I know I know a little bit what happened. I don't blame him, but there's somebody who is not keeping their word about a something that happened all right they're not letting it go they're thinking i belong to people when i don't let's just say that that's why there's people trying to bring hostilities to the table i don't appreciate it one damn bit why i'm not being left alone why is there people acting stupid right now is what I want to understand. But there's something being found out. That's why they're going to try to ask for forgiveness. Because they're going to have financial health problems. And they just got inspiration on giving themselves a heartbreak. Let me see. What's healing? What is this about? The less friendship. Friendships are going to have to try to be healed. Because uh, there are friendships who are trying to dominate you. There's going to need to be healing. Because uh, friendship or friends or friendships are trying to dominate you. Me, like people that you thought were your friend is trying to dominate you and trying to seduction you. And there's going to need healing. So that is their lesson. Friendships are going to be rocky. Right now. Let me see. Yeah. The temple path. Guidance. Leadership. Secrecy. Danger. Life purpose. Peace. Doubt. They need to stop trying to know all the answers. That's what they need to do. Stop trying to know all the answers. Let me see. What is a blessing? Yeah, they need to stop trying to know all the answers about. Yeah, blessings. There's going to be blessings with the travel. That they're going to have to understand. That when you give somebody bad health. You're just giving somebody blessing for good health. Uh, clarity. Clarity on people who are trying to mess with your emotions. Trying to think you belong to someone. They were trying to make you feel like you were not appreciated. They were trying to make you feel lonely. Alright. They tried to make you feel very lonely. Because they are foolish for it. They try to make you feel like you were alone. They are trying to isolate you. They are trying to get it where people won't help you. Um... What else is here? Yep, upheaval. They are going to regret this. They are going to regret what they just did. They're going to be put in regret. And they cannot change the past. Which they're going to have to learn a very harsh lesson. So that's where the upheaval is going to come in. At that too. Uh, uh, uh. Let me see. What else do I need to know about this? Is there anything else you want me to know about this uh, friendship or friendships? Is there anything else you want me to know about this? 
<clears throat> King of Swords. It's someone who you look up to or it's a law figure. It's a law figure or someone who you look up to that is trying to dominate the situation. I'm not for sure. Like I said, this could be a cop or this could be somebody who you look up to. And then, yeah, doubt. Trying to know all the answers about a relationship dynamic. So there's something here that they're trying to disrespect you of your body, trying to bring you danger, is because they don't they don't respect your relationship. They do not they do not respect your temple path. And then uh, there's the hermit into a future potential of that too. And then you got the Ten of Pentacles. Like I said, someone got paid off to, to pay people to where you would be isolated. And I said something about that. Let me see. What is regret about? What is regret about? Yep, three of sword. Dang. All right. And then, yep, being a thief. So, the upheaval is going to bring a heartbreak. They were paying people to not want to talk to you, not want to be around you, trying to isolate you so you wouldn't know. So, they try to pay people... To where they would not appreciate you. They were trying to do a settlement. Where you want to get clarity. They were trying to make you feel lonely. Actually. They were trying. And. Uh, yeah. Their regret. Is heartbreak. Got heartbreak twice. On this board. Because they were being a thief. Thief of joy. Thief of just trying to steal stuff. Your joy, your happiness, your relationship. Trying to take joy away from your body. Trying to take away your joy by trying to bring you hostilities, drama. You know, you know they're being foolish. I thought too. You knew it. You knew it. So, yeah, that's pretty much their lesson. They're going to be in heartbreak. And I get the feeling that someone feels... Now, think about it. You're having a vision that they know you're going to be getting a victory. Because uh, they're in regret. Now they're feeling heartbroken. Now they want to back out. And they cannot change the past of what they were trying to do. At that too. Hmm. So just like I said. There's actually troubles in the wind. There's people. And groups talking. About this. And uh, like I said. The. Friendship. They could have a cop that's a friend. But also. It could be somebody that you know. So, it's a police officer, law enforcement, or somebody who you look up to is wanting a situation to heal. Because somebody knows dominance is meaning forced, controlled, that they need to come in and do something about it. Because the law figures probably already know about the hostilities. They already know people trying to make you feel lonely. They probably already know... About all this stuff. And the different connections. I thought too. And trying to bring danger. To a relationship dynamic. And you got two bunnies. Two bunnies also represents. Fertility. Pregnancy. So that's why there's danger. Because there might be a. Be a baby in danger. I thought too. Inside of a mother. Represents fertility. And uh, there's people who's going to be in regret. 
and going to be in heartbreak. And uh, they were trying to mess with your emotions at that too. They were trying to mess with your appreciation. Like they were kind of want people to disrespect you. They were want people to make you feel like you were a fool. They didn't want people to believe you. They don't. They don't want people to help you to stop this at this moment in time. But a law figure, if a law figure is coming through this, I believe a law figure already knows what's already going on. And they know betrayal is coming. And some people are probably emotional right now. Because there's... Um, somebody somebody literally messed with my throat chakra. <clears throat> like they don't want me to speak. <clears throat> like they're choking me right now. I don't care. It's going to get out. But yeah. In the near future, you're going to be getting blessings of Ten of Pentacles. There will be balance. And... Your emotions will be appreciation. But you got the three of swords out twice. That's what they're going to regret. They're going to regret everything. Because they cannot take all this back. Of what they were trying to do to you. At that as well. About what they talked about. What they were going to do. Who they went to. Who they are talking to. And plus that can also be... There are some people probably heartbroken in jail. In regret mode. Because you may have found out. There's trouble in the winds already. There's already trouble. And um, Hillary wants to get a hold of AJ Cook. I can also make noises too. I can also make it known that there is a trouble and I can also make noises too. I can also let people know certain things too. So you want to sit there and get mad at me for what I confronted you about. You're getting a hold of people about jumping me. I don't know how true it is, but somebody pretty much don't like what you're doing Hillary now that could be a mind fuck or it's legitly the truth but people are not coming to me now if people are threatening to jump me they need to come forward and speak up if not if I end up dead I'm gonna haunt you because if you got truth to tell me if you got some serious stuff to tell me I recommend people Speak it to me. Speak to me about it. Because I'm getting sick and tired of hearing it from everybody else again. And then these people who are terrified of me, they're like, well, I'm, well, I'm afraid to tell her because I don't know how she's going to react. Don't lie to me. I have every right to react like I do because I was attempted, almost attempted murdered in 2016. I was almost attempted murdered. If you just come up and talk to me and actually be honest with me and actually let me know and stop being a scared ass little bitch and actually communicate with me, then I can actually help myself. But I can't help myself if nobody's going to speak up truthfully to me. Because it's bullshit. Because if I end up dead, if I end up getting jumped by people, and I end up dead because nobody did anything about it or didn't want to speak up to me about it in time. I'm going to be kind of mad. But like I said, if you know anything about me getting jumped. And Hillary Simmons likes to brag a lot. And I know she got a hold of AJ Cook, which I do not enjoy have to say AJ Cook. I don't enjoy saying that fucking name. But you want to get a hold of people? So can I. You want to make noise and get mad at me? 
You're saying you're going to get me jumped? I can speak about it too. Works both ways. This madness shit needs to stop and end. Because it does not matter how many times I go to... I'm just about to handle it myself. Because I'm tired of the cops not doing anything for me. They will literally tell me over the phone, well, I'm sorry, we can't do anything about it because they haven't physically touched you. I'm sorry, we can't do anything until you're dead. Then, you know what, then that's going to end up people in jail because you won't do your damn jobs. You know, that's pretty damn sad. I literally have to handle it because the cops won't do shit. And then people take it in their own hands. And then people get locked up for charges because they had to do what they had to do. So, Lord forgive me for what I may have to do. Or, Lord forgive me that I may have to go back to my old ways. Because motherfuckers just fucked around and found out. Alright. Like I said, if you got truth. And you know for a fact what you're hearing. Contact me. And do not lie to my face about it. Stop keeping secrets from me because eventually one of these times somebody's going to regret the day that I'm gone because they didn't speak up. And also, if AJ Cook threatened you or Hillary or her clicks or AJ Cook's clicks, speak up about it. I don't give a shit if AJ Cook carries a gun on him, but I know AJ Cook always carries a knife with poison on it. People do need to start speaking up so I can help myself. And I can't do that because people are terrified to tell me. But like I said, if I end up dead, I'm going to pretty much haunt people. And that will be on people's conscience. They will have a guilty conscience. Just like I said, I'm going to go and get off of here. Have a good night.